Hello everyone, this is Adventure Story and today we will talk about what to do in case you are full ahead loaded and there is a ship in front of you and you like to avoid, okay? First of all, let's go to our main engine system, okay? This is our main engine. It's running, we are ahead, okay? And let's go here to the operating main indication. As you can see here, the responsibility is on bridge, okay? Uh, first of all, the bridge have the command, okay? And bridge will decide what they need to do and how to act. But very important is to have in mind that each ship have different parameters of maneuverability, okay? Each ship have specific knots and distances and times. There is posted also on bridge and there is in manuals of the ship, okay? So if someone, let's say from bridge, see a ship and there is a collision situation, okay, he can make crash astern, okay, but with this decision, there is about 10 to 13 minutes, so ship to start from full ahead to going to full astern, but ship is not a car, so as you can imagine, there is a ship loaded with about, say, 20,000 tons. Imagine this tremendous weight, 20,000 tons. Are you really can stop this immediately, like a car? Also, cars, sometimes they need some distance, okay? So, imagine your ship is coming like this. And you see another ship coming here, okay? Are you thinking that if I start immediately to the full astern, my ship will be going like this? Mm -hmm. But no, this is not real. The ship they go like this. Going here, here, here. Are you already you set to full astern, but it's coming here, here, and after will easy, easy, easy to start to listen, okay? Also, in low speed, the ship's maneuverability is reduced. When you have bigger speed, it's more easy to control your vessel, okay? This is why, because your ship's ship structure it's immersed inside the water okay as the water is passing through the stern okay there is bigger amount of water which hits the stern okay as you turn your stern and your ship speeds fast okay the power which is applied on the stern is much bigger this is uh, the physics law, okay? And there is some chance to avoid the collision by steering. So, if you like to avoid the collision by steering and you are uh, sure for that, set your steering gear to operate all the pumps. So you will reduce the stern speed turning, okay? And also your steering gear can receive this tremendous power, okay? It's better to have more hydraulic power packs, pumps to operate. And the other good way to avoid the collision is the communication. The communication is this is the most important 
factor on all heat collisions, okay? This is really, really very important. Okay? How you will speak? What you will speak? This is very important. The decision must be clear and you must be strong, clear your way. Okay? Also, very important to navigation is the light. The lights which the other vessel see in the night are very important because they are all around the vessel. There is port side, starboard side, forward and aft. And all together they complete 360 degrees. Okay? So, all the vessels can be seen from far. The illumination of these lamps is specific, so they can be undated by human eye in some specified distances. And the light is specified in the rules which must be followed. Okay, let's do our full astern, crash astern, let's see how our engine will react. As you can see here, our engine no react because we are managing control, nothing's happened here. Immediately we proceed to bridge control here. Where is the bridge control? Here, bridge control. Okay, and we set to full astern. Immediately, the engine stops. Stop signal is going. And command to astern and camshaft position to astern is to be achieved. Okay. Let's see, emergency full. You see, actually the RPM is reduced less because there is a way the speed of the ship, as you can see here, is 14 knots. It's reduced slowly. So you can understand that this is not a car, this is much much bigger size and as we say before, bigger ship have longer distances, okay, and also depends from the size of the ship and the type of the ship, okay. Thank you for watching this adventure story, put your comments, I will be lucky to listen to your comments, okay, share and like. Thank you. Bye-bye.